Agra Listen is a city on the banks of the river Yamuna in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh, India. It is 378 kilometers, 235 miles west of the state capital, Lucknow, 206 kilometers, 128 miles south of the national capital New Delhi, 58 kilometers, 31 miles south of Mathura and 125 kilometers, 78 miles north of Gwalior. Agra is one of the most populous cities in Uttar Pradesh, and the 24th most populous in India. Agra is a major tourist destination because of its many Mughal era buildings, most notably the Taj Mahal, Agra Fort, and Fatehpur Sikri, all of which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Agra is included on the Golden Triangle Tourist Circuit, along with Delhi and Jaipur, and the Uttar Pradesh Heritage Arc, Tourist Circuit of Upstate, along Lucknow and Varanasi. Agra falls within the Braj Cultural Region. The city was first mentioned in the epic Mahabharata, where it was called Agravana derived from Sanskrit Agravana meaning, the border of the forest. However, the 11th century Persian poet Masid Saad Salman writes of a desperate assault on the fortress of Agra, then held by the Shahi king Jayapala, by Sultan Mahmud of Ghazni. It was mentioned for the first time in 1080 AD when a Ghaznavid force captured it. Sultan Sikandar Lodi was the first to move his capital from Delhi to Agra in 1506. He governed the country from here and Agra assumed the importance of the second capital. He died in 1517 and his son, Ibrahim Lodi, remained in power there for nine more years and several palaces, wells and a mosque were built by him in the fort during his period, finally being defeated at the Battle of Panipat in 1526. Between 1540 and 1556, Afghans, beginning with Sher Shah Suri ruled the area. It was the capital of the Mughal Empire from 1556 to 1648. <laughs> climate Agra features a semi-arid climate that borders on a humid subtropical climate. The city features mild winters, hot and dry summers and a monsoon season. However the monsoons, though substantial in Agra, are not quite as heavy as the monsoon in other parts of India. This is a primary factor in Agra featuring a semi-arid climate as opposed to a humid subtropical climate. <laughs> Population Demographics As of 2011 India Census, Agra City has a population of 1,585,704, while the population of Agra Cantonment is 53,053. The urban agglomeration of Agra has a population of 1,760,285. Males constitute 53% of the population and females 47%. Agra City has an average literacy rate of 73%, below the national average of 74%. Literacy rate of males is considerably higher than that of women. The sex ratio in the city was 875 females per thousand males while child sex ratio stood at 857. Agra district literacy rate is 62.56%. According to the 2011 census, Agra district has a population of 4,380,793, roughly equal to the nation of Moldova or the U.S. state of Kentucky. This gives it a ranking of 41st in India out of a total of 640. The district has a population density of 1,084 inhabitants per square kilometer, 2,810 per square miles. 52.5% of Agra's population is in the 15 to 59 years age category. Around 11% of the population is under 6 years of age. Topic: <inaudible> Religion. Hindus are 88.8% .8 while Muslims are 9.3% of the population in Agra district. Hinduism, Islam and Jainism are the major religions in Agra city with 80.7%, 15.4% viz. 1.0% of the population adhering to them, others are 1.5%. The Catholic minority is served by its own Metropolitan Archdiocese of Agra. History <laughs> 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 
Topic: <inaudible> Origins. There was an early reference to an Agravana in the ancient Sanskrit epic Mahabharata, and Ptolemy is said to have called the site Agra, and yet nevertheless Sultan Sikandar Lodi, the Muslim ruler of the Delhi Sultanate, founded Agra in the year 1504. After the Sultan's death, the city passed on to his son, Sultan Ibrahim Lodi. He ruled his Sultanate from Agra until he fell fighting to Mughal Badshah Babar in the First Battle of Panipat fought in 1526. Topic. Mughal era The Golden Age of the city began with the Mughals. It was known then as Akbarabad and remained the capital of the Mughal Empire under the Badshahs Akbar, Jahangir and Shah Jahan. Akbar made it the eponymous seat of one of his original twelve subas imperial top-level provinces, bordering Old Delhi, Awa Oudh, Allahabad, Malwa and Ajmer subas. Shah Jahan later shifted his capital to Shah Jahanabad in the year 1648. Since Akbarabad was one of the most important cities in India under the Mughals, it witnessed a lot of building activity. Babar, the founder of the Mughal dynasty, laid out the first formal Persian garden on the banks of River Yamuna. The garden is called the Aram Bagh or the Garden of Relaxation. His grandson Akbar the Great raised the towering ramparts of the Great Red Fort, besides making Agra a center for learning, arts, commerce and religion. Akbar also built a new city on the outskirts of Akbarabad called Fatehpur Sikri. This city was built in the form of a Mughal military camp in stone. His son Jahangir had a love of flora and fauna and laid many gardens inside the Red Fort or Lal Qila. Shah Jahan, known for his keen interest in architecture, gave Akbarabad its most prized monument, the Taj Mahal. Built in loving memory of his wife Mumtaz Mahal, the mausoleum was completed in 1653. Shah Jahan later shifted the capital to Delhi during his reign, but his son Aurangzeb moved the capital back to Akbarabad, usurping his father and imprisoning him in the fort there. Akbarabad remained the capital of India during the rule of Aurangzeb until he shifted it to Aurangabad in the Deccan in 1653. <laughs> Later periods After the decline of the Mughal Empire, the city came under the influence of Marathas and was called Agra, before falling into the hands of the British Raj in 1803. In 1835 when the presidency of Agra was established by the British, the city became the seat of government, and just two years later it was witness to the Agra famine of 1837-38. During the Indian Rebellion of 1857 British rule across India was threatened, news of the rebellion had reached Agra on the 11th of May and on 30 May two companies of native infantry, the 44th and 67th Regiments, rebelled and marched to Delhi. The next morning native Indian troops in Agra were forced to disarm, on 15 June Gwalior which lies south of Agra rebelled. By 3 July, the British were forced to withdraw into the fort. Two days later a small British force at Suketa were defeated and forced to withdraw, this led to a mob sacking the city. However, the rebels moved on to Delhi which allowed the British to restore order by 8 July. Delhi fell to the British in September, the following month rebels who had fled Delhi along with rebels from central India marched on Agra but were defeated. After this British rule was again secured over the city until the independence of India in 1947. Legacies <inaudible> 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 Agra is the birthplace of the religion known as Din i Alai, which flourished during the reign of Akbar and also of the Radhaswami faith, which has around 2 million followers worldwide. Agra has historic linkages with Shoripur of Jainism and Runukta of Hinduism, of 1000 BC. The Taj Mahal, Agra Fort, and Fatehpur Sikri are all UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Administration and politics Administration General administration 
Agra Division which consists of four districts, and is headed by the Divisional Commissioner of Agra, who is an IAS officer. The Commissioner is the head of local government institutions including municipal corporations in the division, is in charge of infrastructure development in his division, and is also responsible for and is also responsible for maintaining law and order in the division. The District Magistrate of Agra reports to the Divisional Commissioner. The current commissioner is K. Ram Mohan Rao. Agra District Administration is headed by the District Magistrate and Collector DM of Agra, who is an IAS officer. The DM is in charge of property records and revenue collection for the central government and oversees the elections held in the city. The DM is also responsible for maintaining law and order in the city. The DM is assisted by a Chief Development Officer, six additional District Magistrates for Finance, Revenue, City, Administration, Land Acquisition, Civil Supply, and Protocol, one City Magistrate, and three additional City Magistrates. The district has six tehsils viz. Siddhar, Etmadipur, Kurawali, Fatihabad, Kairagar and Ba, each headed by a sub-divisional magistrate. The current DM is Gaurav Dayal. Topic. Police administration Agra District comes under the Agra Police Zone and Agra Police Range. Agra Zone is headed by an additional Director General ADG ranked Indian Police Service IPS officer, and the Agra Range is headed by a Deputy Inspector General DIG ranked IPS officer. The current ADG, Agra Zone is Ajay Anand, and DIG, Agra Range is Love Kumar. The district police is headed by a Senior Superintendent of Police, SSP, who is an IPS officer, and is assisted by six superintendents of police or additional superintendents of police for city, east, west, crime, traffic, and protocol, either from the IPS or the Provincial Police Service. Each of the several police circles is headed by a circle officer in the rank of Deputy Superintendent of Police. The current SSP is Amit Topic: Infrastructure and civic administration The development of infrastructure in the city is overseen by Agra Development Authority which comes under the Department of Housing and Urban Planning of the Uttar Pradesh government. The Divisional Commissioner of Agra acts as the ex officio chairman of ADA, whereas a vice chairman, a government appointed IAS officer, looks after the daily matters of the authority. The current vice chairman of ADA is Shubra Saxena. The Agra Municipal Corporation oversees the city's civic infrastructure. The head of the corporation is the mayor, but the executive and administration of the corporation is the responsibility of the municipal commissioner, who is a Uttar Pradesh government appointed provincial civil service officer of high seniority. The current mayor of Agra is Naveen Jain from the Bharatiya Janata Party, whereas the municipal commissioner is Arun Prakash. Politics. Agra district has two Lok Sabha viz. Agra and Fatehpur Sikri, and nine Uttar Pradesh Vidhan Sabha Uttar Pradesh Legislative Assembly constituencies in it. The current Member of Parliament MP for Agra in the Lok Sabha House of the People is Ram Shankar, and the current MP for Fatehpur Sikri in the House of the People is Babulal Chaudhry. Transport. Topic. Air Air India flies to Agra Airport on the following route, Delhi, Varanasi, Agra, Kajuraho, Varanasi, Delhi. Topic. Rail Agra City comes under the jurisdiction of Agra Division of North Central Railways Zone of the Indian Railways. Agra is on the central train line between Delhi station code, NDLS, and Mumbai station code, CSTM, and between Delhi and Chennai station code, MAS, and many trains like Bhopal Shatabdi, Taj Express, Gataman Express, Bhopal Express, Malwa Express, Gondwana Express, Jubalpur, Jamatawi Express, Sridham Express, Garib Rath, Tamil Nadu Express, Chennai Rajdhani, Agra Mathura Express etc. connect Agra with all major Indian cities like New Delhi, Hyderabad, 
Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Visakhapatnam, Bengaluru, Pune, Bhopal, Indore, Kochi, Gwalior, Jubalpur, Ujjain, Jaipur, Aligarh, Mathura, Alwar, Lucknow, Tiruvananthapuram etc. every day. Some eastbound trains from Delhi also travel via Agra, so direct connections to points in eastern India including Kolkata are also available. There are close to 20 trains to New Delhi and Gwalior Junction every day, and at least three or four to Bhopal, Indore, Nagpur, Mumbai and Chennai. There are three main railway stations in Agra, Agra Kant, Raja Ki Mandi, and Agra Fort. Railway stations Railway stations served by the Agra Division, North Central Railways Network at Agra are Agra Cantonment Railway Station, Agra Agra Fort Railway Station, Agra Agra City Railway Station, Agra Raja Ki Mandi Railway Station, Agra Idga Railway Station, Agra Yamuna Bridge Railway Station, Agra Topic. Agra Delhi Semi High Speed Train Gataman Express In July 2014, a trial run of a semi high speed train with 10 coaches and two generators reached a speed of 160 km per hour, 99 miles per hour between New Delhi and Agra. The railways plan to introduce such trains commercially from November 2014. New Delhi Agra Shatabdi Express is the same type of train, which takes two hours to complete its journey. A new semi-high-speed train Gataman Express that reduces travel time between Delhi and Agra to 100 minutes has been started from 5 April 2016. Topic Road Idga Bus Stand, Taj Depot, Fort Depot and Interstate Bus Terminal ISBT are the major bus stands in Agra, connecting Agra to most of the bigger cities in North India. It is a major junction of highways with three national highways and two expressways Yamuna Expressway and Agra Lucknow Expressway originating from Agra. From Delhi, NH19 old number, NH2, a modern divided highway, connects the 200 km 124 miles distance from Delhi to Agra. From Delhi, Noida, Yamuna Expressway, a modern access controlled highway connects the 200 km 124 miles distance from Delhi to Agra. Yamuna Expressway, formerly Taj Expressway is a six-lane extendable to eight lanes, 165 kilometers 103 miles long, controlled access expressway, that connects New Delhi with Agra via Greater Noida and Mathura in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. NH509 old number, NH93 connects Agra to Maradabad via Aligarh. Agra Lucknow Expressway is a six-lane extendable to eight lanes, 302 kilometers, 188 miles long, controlled access expressway that connects Lucknow with Agra via Kanauj and Etawa in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Local transport. Topic. <laughs> City low floor buses Bus services are run by the Agra Municipal Corporation. Other para transit modes include rickshaws and auto rickshaws. Polluting vehicles are not allowed near the Taj Mahal. Topic e rickshaw and Ola cabs Electric rickshaws have been increasing in the city. Ola cabs and Agra cabs and taxi also operate their services in the city round the clock and can be used via mobile app and website. Topic. Agra Metro Rail Transport Rail India Technical and Economic Service rights has proposed 30 stations, 11 underground and 19 elevated, for two corridors of the Metro Rail in the city. The two routes are Sikandra to the Taj Mahal's East Gate via Agra Fort and Agra Kant to Kalindi Vihar. On 24 March 2017, State Chief Minister Aditya Nath Yogi approved the project. In December 2017, the cabinet of the UP government approved the DPR as per new metro policy. Work was expected to commence in March 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Monumental Mughal Legacy. Topic: <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is one of the most famous buildings in the world, the mausoleum of Shah Jahan's favorite wife, Mumtaz Mahal. It is one of the new seven wonders of the world, and one of the three World Heritage Sites in Agra. Agra is commonly identified as the City of Taj. Completed in 1653, the Taj Mahal was built by the Mughal King Shah Jahan as the final resting place for his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal. Finished in marble, it is one of India's many beautiful monuments and is set amidst landscaped gardens. Built by the Persian architect, Ostad Isa, the Taj Mahal is on the south bank of the Yamuna River. It can be observed from Agra Fort from where Emperor Shah Jahan gazed at it for the last eight years of his life, a prisoner of his son Aurangzeb. Verses of the Quran are inscribed on it and at the top of the gate are 22 small domes, signifying the number of years the monument took to build. The Taj Mahal was built on a marble platform that stands above a sandstone one. The most elegant dome of the Taj Mahal has a diameter of 60 feet 18 meters, and rises to a height of 80 feet 24 meters. .Directly under this dome is the tomb of Mumtaz Mahal. Shah Jahan's tomb was erected next to hers by his son Aurangzeb. The interiors are decorated with fine inlay work, incorporating semi-precious stones. Agra Fort Agra Fort, sometimes called the Red Fort was commissioned by the conquering Mughal Emperor Akbar the Great in 1565, and is another of Agra's World Heritage Sites. A stone tablet at the gate of the fort states that it had been built before 1000 but was later renovated by Akbar. The Red Sandstone Fort was converted into a palace during Shah Jahan's time, and reworked extensively with marble and Pietra Dura inlay. Notable buildings in the fort include the Pearl Mosque or Modi Masjid, the Dewan e M and Dewan e Khas, halls of public and private audience, Jahangir's Palace, Khas Mahal, Shish Mahal, Mirrored Palace, and the Musaman Burj. The forbidding exteriors of this fort conceal an inner paradise. The fort is crescent-shaped, flattened on the east with a long, nearly straight wall facing the river. It has a total perimeter of 2.4 kilometers, 1.5 miles, and is ringed by double castellated ramparts of red sandstone punctuated at regular intervals by bastions. A moat 9 meters, 30 feet wide and 10 meters, 33 feet deep surrounds the outer wall. Chhatrapati Shivaji visited the Agra fort, as a result of the conditions of the Treaty of Parandar entered into with Mirza Raja Jaising to meet Aurangzeb in the Dewan i Khas special audience chamber. In the audience he was deliberately placed behind men of lower rank. An insulted Shivaji stormed out of the imperial audience and was confined to Jay Singh's quarters on 12 May 1666. Fearing the dungeons and execution he escaped on 17 August 1666. The fort is a typical example of Mughal architecture, effectively showing how the North Indian style of fort construction differed from that of the South. In the south, the majority of forts were built on the seabed like the one at Bekal in Kerala. Fatehpur <inaudible> <inaudible> Sikri The Mughal Emperor Akbar built Fatehpur Sikri about 35 kilometres from Agra, and moved his capital there. Later abandoned, the site displays a number of buildings of significant historical importance. A World Heritage Site, it is often visited by tourists. The name of the place came about after the Mughal Emperor Babar defeated Rana Sangha in a battle at a place called Sikri about 40 kilometers 25 miles from Agra. Then the Mughal Emperor Akbar wanted to make Fatehpur Sikri his headquarters, so he built a majestic fort, due to shortage of water, however, he had to ultimately move his headquarters to Agra Fort. Buland Durvaza or the Lofty Gateway was built by the great Mughal Emperor, Akbar in 1601 CE at Fatehpur Sikri. Akbar built the Buland Durvaza to commemorate his victory over Gujarat. The Buland Durvaza is approached by 52 steps. The Buland Durvaza is 53.63 meters, 175.95 feet high and 35 meters, 115 feet wide. It is made of red and buff sandstone, decorated by carving and black and white marble inlays. An inscription on the central face of the Buland Durvaza demonstrates Akbar's religious broad-mindedness. It is a message from Jesus advising his followers not to consider this world as their permanent home. Topic. 
Itimid ud Dala The Empress Nur Jahan built Itimid ud Dala's tomb, sometimes called the Baby Taj, for her father, Mirza Jiyas Beg, the chief minister of the Emperor Jahangir. Located on the left bank of the Yamuna River, the mausoleum is set in a large cruciform garden, criss crossed by water courses and walkways. The area of the mausoleum itself is about 23 square meters, 250 square feet, and is built on a base that is about 50 square meters, 540 square feet, and about 1 meter, 3.3 feet high. On each corner are hexagonal towers, about 13 meters, 43 feet tall. Small in comparison to many other Mughal era tombs, it is sometimes described as a jewel box. Its garden layout and use of white marble, pietra dura, inlay designs and latticework presage many elements of the Taj Mahal. The walls are white marble from Rajasthan encrusted with semi-precious stone decorations, cornelian, jasper, lapis lazuli, onyx, and topaz in images of cypress trees and wine bottles, or more elaborate decorations like cut fruit or vases containing bouquets. Light penetrates to the interior through delicate jolly screens of intricately carved white marble. Many of Nur Jahan's relatives are interred in the mausoleum. The only asymmetrical element of the entire complex are the tombs of her father and mother, which have been set side by side, a formation replicated in the Taj Mahal. <laughs> Akbar's tomb, Sikandra Sikandra, the last resting place of the Mughal Emperor Akbar the Great, is on the Delhi Agra Highway, only 13 kilometers (8.1 miles) from the Agra Fort. Akbar's tomb reflects the completeness of his personality. The vast, beautifully carved red ochre sandstone tomb with deers, rabbits, and langurs is set amidst a lush garden. Akbar himself planned his own tomb and selected a suitable site for it. To construct a tomb in one's lifetime was a Turkic custom which the Mughals followed religiously. Akbar's son Jahangir completed construction of this pyramidal tomb in 1613. The 99 names of Allah have been inscribed on the tomb. <laughs> Jama Masjid The Jama Masjid is a large mosque attributed to Shah Jahan's daughter, Princess Jahanara Begum, built in 1648, notable for its unusual dome and absence of minarets. The inscription at its entrance shows that it cost 5 lakh rupees at that time for its completion. Topic: <laughs> Chini Ka Rauza. Notable for its Persian-influenced dome of blue glazed tiles, the Chini Ka Rauza is dedicated to the Prime Minister of Shah Jahan, Allama Afzal Khal Mullah Shukrala of Shiraz. Topic Ram Bagh, Aram Bagh The oldest Mughal garden in India, the Ram Bagh was built by the Emperor Babar in 1528 on the bank of the Yamuna. It lies about 2.34 km 1 mile north of the Taj Mahal. The pavilions in this garden are designed so that the wind from the Yamuna, combined with the greenery, keeps them cool even during the peak of summer. The original name of the gardens was Aram Bagh, or Garden of Relaxation, and this was where the Mughal Emperor Babar used to spend his leisure time and where he eventually died. His body was kept here for some time before sending it to Kabul. On Ram Bagh to Tunla Road near Etmadpur, there is a famed yoga ashram of Mahaprabhu Ramlal Ji Maharaja first Guru Gadi, Yogeshwar Mulakraj Ji Maharaja second Guru Gadi, and Yogeshwar Devidayal Ji Mahadev third Guru Gadi, blessed Swami Chandra Mohan Ji Maharaj named Sri Siddha Gufa Sawai. Thousands of devotees and seekers visit this holy place. Mariam's tomb. Maryam's tomb, is the tomb of Maryam, the wife of great Mughal Emperor Akbar. The tomb is within the compound of the Christian Missionary Society. <laughs> Medab Bagh The Medab Bagh, or Moonlight Garden, is on the opposite bank of the river Yamuna from the Taj Mahal. Keetham Lake Also known as Sir Sarovar, Keetham Lake is situated about 7 km miles from the Akbar tomb in Agra, within the Sirtas reserved forest. 
The lake has an impressive variety of aquatic life and water birds. Topic: <laughs> Mughal Heritage Walk. The Mughal Heritage Walk is a part of community development program being implemented with support of Agra Municipal Corporation, USAID and an NGO, Center for Urban and Regional Excellence. It seeks to build sustainable livelihoods for youth and women from low-resource communities and improve their living environments through infrastructure services and integration within the city. The Mughal Heritage Walk is a 1 km mile loop which connects the agricultural fields with the Rajasthani culture, river bank connected with the ancient village of Kuchpura, the heritage structure of Medhav Bagh, the Mughal aqueduct system, the Humanyan Mosque and the Jira Sidi. Other places of interest Mankamishwar Temple The Mankamishwar Temple is one of four ancient temples dedicated to Lord Shiva located on the four corners of Agra city. It is located near the Jama Masjid and is about 2.5 km miles from the Taj Mahal and less than 1 km miles from Agra Fort. Being located in the Old City, the temple is surrounded by markets, many of which date back to the Mughal era. Indrabhan Girls Inter College The college is widely considered to be the birthplace of great poet Mirza Ghalib. It is located near the Mankamishwar Temple and is about 3 km miles from the Taj Mahal and less than 1 km miles from Agra Fort. Being located in the Old City, the college is surrounded by markets. Approximately four or five years ago, the birth room of Mirza Ghalib was hidden behind the wall by the management of the college to keep the identity of the place secret. Gurudwara Guru Ka Tal Guru Ka Tal was originally a reservoir meant to collect and conserve rainwater built in Agra, near Sikandra, during Jahangir's reign next to the tomb of Itibar Khan Khwajasara in 1610. In the 1970s a Gurudwara was erected here. Guru Ka Tal is a holy place of worship for the Sikhs. Four of the ten Sikh Gurus are said to have paid it a visit. Enjoying both historical and religious importance, this shrine attracts a large number of devotees and tourists. Boasting elaborate stone carvings and eight of the twelve original towers. It is located by National Delhi Agra Highway 2. The Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception The Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception is the seat of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Agra. Pollywal Park Hewitt Park Pollywal Park, during the British Raj was known as Hewitt Park, is now renamed in memory of Sri Krishna Datta Pollywal, who was the first finance minister of Uttar Pradesh, when Sri Govind Balab Pant was the chief minister of the state. Pollywal Park is located in the heart of Agra, spread over an area of around 70 acres square meters. It also has a small lake and a vast variety of trees. Pollywal Park links the residential areas of Vijay Nagar Colony and Gandhi Nagar to the financial hub of the city i.e. Sanjay Place. John's Public Library, also known as the Agra Municipal Library, is also located here and has rare books on diverse topics. Many people come here for morning walk, as a result this place is full especially during the summer holidays when youngsters play all sort of different games. <laughs> Somiba Samadhi Located in Dialba area, Somiba Samadhi is another magnificent marble building and a popular tourist attraction. The carving of the marble pillars and posts is intricate and exhibits good craftsmanship. It is a place of worship for Radhaswami faith followers and is dedicated to the founder of Radhaswami faith, Param Puresh Purandani Swami Ji Maharaj Shri Shiv Dayal Singh Seth. 
It is very quiet and peaceful inside the satsang hall, an environment built for meditation. Economy Due to the presence of the Taj Mahal and other historic monuments, Agra has a booming tourism industry as well as royal crafts like Pietra Dura, marble inlay and carpets. Today 40% of the population depends largely on agriculture, and others on the leather and footwear business and iron foundries. Agra is the second most self-employed in India in 2007, behind Varanasi, followed by Bhopal, Indore and Patna. According to the National Sample Survey Organization, in 1999-2000, 431 of every 1,000 employed males were self-employed in the city, which grew to 603 per 1,000 in 2004-05. Tourism contributes to the economy of Agra. Agra is home to Asia's largest spa called Kaya Kalp, the Royal Spa, at the Hotel Mughal in Agra. Agra has many industries. Uttar Pradesh's first plant biotech company Harihar Biotech is located near the Taj. There are about 7,000 small scale industrial units. Agra City is also known for its leather goods. The oldest and famous leather firm Taj Leather World is in Sadar Bazaar. The carpets, handicrafts, zari and zardozi embroidery work, marble and stone carving and inlay work. Agra is known for its sweets petha and, gajik, and snacks dilmuth, garment manufacturers and exporters and an automobile industry. Carpet making was introduced to the city by Mughal Emperor Babur and since then this art has flourished. The city centre place at Agra has jewellery and garments shops. The silver and gold jewellery hub is at Chob G Ka Fatak. The Shah Market area is an electronics market while Sanjay Place is the trade centre of Agra. Development Agra ranked fifth on both the Financial Penetration Index, which measures things like the presence of ATMs and bank branches, and on the Consumption Index, indicating the city's transformation into an urban town. There are many new buildings, shopping complexes, malls, roads, flyovers and apartments coming up. On the India City Competitiveness Index, the city ranked 26th in 2010, 32nd in 2011 and 37th in 2012. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education. It was during the advent of the Mughal era that Agra grew as a center of Islamic education. British people introduced the western concept of education in Agra. In the year 1823, Agra College, one of the oldest colleges in India was formed out of a Sanskrit school established by the Sindhya rulers. In the British era, Agra became a great centre of Hindi literature with people like Babu Gulab Rai at the helm. <laughs> <laughs> Universities and colleges Agra University was established on 1 July 1927 and catered to colleges spread across the United Provinces, the Rajputana, the Central Provinces and almost to entire North India, at present 10 institutes comprising various departments and around 700 colleges are affiliated to this university. The historic Agra University was later rechristened as Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar University by the then Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Ms. Mayawadi. Sakdeva Institute of Technology, also known as SIT, Mathura since 2001. The Institute of Mental Health and Hospital, formerly known as Agra Lunatic Asylum, was established in September 1859 governed by the state of Uttar Pradesh. It is spread over on extensive and beautiful ground of 172.8 acres 69.9 hectares land and is well-known centre for the treatment, training and research on mental disorders in northern India. The institute was renamed as Mental Hospital, Agra in 1925. It was being managed under the provisions of Indian Lunacy Act, 1912 till 1993. Presently all admissions and discharges are being done under the provisions of Mental Health Act, 1987. Following a public writ, the Supreme Court of India in the year 1994, renamed the institution as Agra Mansik Arogyashala, made it an autonomous institution and outlined the objectives to improve treatment and care of mentally ill persons including rehabilitation as well as to develop activities for professional teaching, training and research. 
In compliance of the order of the Supreme Court, the UP government declared the hospital as an autonomous institution on 31 January 1995. In view of the objectives laid down by the court, it was renamed as Institute of Mental Health and Hospital on 8 February 2001. Central Institute of Hindi, also known as Kendriya Hindi Sansthan, is an autonomous institute under Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India engaged in teaching Hindi as a foreign and second language. Apart from running residential Hindi language courses for foreign students, the institute also conducts regular training programs for teachers of Hindi belonging to non-Hindi states of India. The institute is situated at a 11 acres hectares campus on the outskirts of Agra city. Headquartered in Agra the institute has eight regional centres in Delhi, Hyderabad, Mysore, Shillong, Damapur, Guwahati, Ahmedabad and Bhubneshwar. The institute is the only government-run institution in India established solely for research and teaching of Hindi as a foreign and second language. Sarojini Naidu Medical College, is one of the three oldest medical colleges of India. It is located in Agra, Uttar Pradesh state. It is named after the First Lady Governess of Uttar Pradesh, poet and freedom fighter, Bharat Kokila SMT. Sarojini Naidu. Agra College, is one of the oldest institutions in India. Pandit Gangadhar Shastri, a noted Sanskrit scholar founded the college in 1823. Till 1883 the institute was a government college and after that a board of trustees and a committee of management managed the college. Agra College produced the first graduate in Uttar Pradesh and the first law graduate to northern India. St. John's College, Agra, is a college established in 1850, now part of the Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar University, earlier known as Agra University. It is amongst the oldest and one of the most beautiful Christian colleges in India. The college runs a study centre of Indira Gandhi National Open University Ignau, a central university. Raja Balwant Singh College, established in 1885 owes its existence to Raja Balwant Singh Ji of Awagar who enabled the institution to grow as one of the oldest and biggest colleges of Uttar Pradesh. Raja Balwant Singh College is located at Baikpuri, Agra, Uttar Pradesh, India. The college is affiliated to Uttar Pradesh Technical University, Lucknow, and Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Agra. Dialba Educational Institute, Radhaswami Satsang Sabha, started the Radhaswami Educational Institute, as a coeducational middle school, open to all, on 1 January 1917. It became a degree college in 1947, affiliated to Agra University. In 1975, it formulated a program of undergraduate studies which received approbation from the government of Uttar Pradesh and the University Grants Commission, as a result of which in 1981 the Ministry of Education, Government of India, conferred the status of an institution deemed to be a university on the Dialba Educational Institute, to implement the new scheme. UEI Global, consecutively ranked among the top management institutes of India by Competition Success Review for year 2013 and 2012. The college has 12 campuses across India and provide programs in hotel management and business management. Media Agra is home to the Dainik Jagran newspaper, the most read Hindi newspaper in India. Other widely read papers include Amar Uhala, Hindustan Rajasthan Patrika, Aj, Hindustan, The Sea Express, Deepshil Bharat, DLA. The English dailies published are The Times of India, Hindustan Times, Economic Times, and The Pioneer. The Urdi dailies published are Prabhanjan Sankat, and Inksaf. There is also the Hindi and English mixed newspaper tabloid I Next. Morphers Animation Studios LLP is an animation studio in Agra, which caters 3D visualization services to clients. State-owned All India Radio has a local station in Agra which transmits various programs of mass interest. There are four private FM radio stations, 92.7 Big FM Reliance Broadcast Network Limited, 93.7 Fever FM, 94.5 Tadka FM and Radio City 91.9 FM. There is a community radio station 90.4 FM. Topic: Radio stations. 90.4 MHz, Agra Kiawas. 
90.8 MHz, AAP Ki Awaz 93.7 MHz, Fever FM 91.9 MHz, Radio City 92.7 MHz, Big 92.7 FM 94.5 MHz, Tadka FM 105.6 MHz, Ignao Gyan Vani Fairs and festivals Taj Mahatsav Taj Mahatsav is a cultural festival that was started in year 1992 and has grown since then. The year 2017 is the 26th year of this Mahatsav. This festival also figures in the calendar of events of the Department of Tourism, Government of India. A large number of Indian and foreign tourists coming to Agra join this festivity in the month of February 18 to 27. One of the objectives of this craft fair is to provide encouragement to the artisans. It also makes available works of art and craft at reasonable prices that are not inflated by high maintenance cost. Topic Ram Bharat Ram Bharat Hindi, Rama Bharata is a part of Ramlila celebration in Agra. It is one of the biggest annual events in North India. Ram Bharat literally means Bharat marriage procession of Sri Ram. Every year a new locality is chosen in Agra and is elaborately decorated with lights and flowers. The area is given a major face lift befitting the venue for the divine marriage. Topic: <laughs> Taj Literature Festival. Taj Literature Festival saw stars of the literary world manifest themselves on the earth of Agra. The galaxy included the stalwarts, Muzaffar Ali, Shobhada, Prahlad Kakar and Raghu Rai. The stage shone brilliant and the heritage city breathed life. This festival, an attempt to rejuvenate that aesthetic spirit which is a soul of this historically rich city, Agra. The city that nurtured the likes of Ghalib, Tansen, Sirtas, Nazir and many more. Kalash Fair. The Kalash Fair is held in the town of Kalash, about 12 kilometers 7 miles from Agra, in the month of August, September. It is a major fair celebrated in honor of Lord Shiva who is believed to have appeared here in the form of stone lingam. <laughs> Gangor Fair Gokulpura, Modi Katra, Agra Topic. Taj Municipal Museum in Paliwal Park Agra The Museum Cum Public Library is housed in an old heritage structure, built in 1922 and renovated in the 1940s. Queen Victoria's bronze statues are also exposed in this museum. The other old statues and memories of the Mughal era are exposed for the attraction of tourists, something new other than usual attraction. Balloon Festival Agra Balloon Festival is organized in February every year. Notable individuals Abdul Karim the Munshi, Huzar Shiv Dayal Singh Hazar Rai Salagram Bahadur, second revered leader of Radhaswami faith, poet Sirtas, Ram Sharma, Amrit Lal Nagar, Rajendra Yadav, Mirza Ghalib, Mir Taki Mir, Nazir Akbarabadi Mudalal Nehru, actress Nimi and Raj Babur, are some notable people from Agra. <laughs> Sister cities Agra is twinned with Chengdu, Sichuan, China Petra, Jordan See also Nand Ram Ka Tila Runakta <laughs>